Hi, it's me, Boris the Bee Guy. It's mid-February here in Maine, and I'm skiing here on the frozen lake right next to my apiary. And this is my apiary, where I use stationary horizontal beehives, and my bees are now wintering and doing well. However, really bad beekeeping news is coming now from California, where in mid-February almonds start blooming, and a lot of honeybees are needed there to pollinate almond groves. Here's the news. Severe and sudden losses of managed bee colonies throughout the United States, with many beekeepers reporting 70 to 100% losses over the past year. While there are many challenges facing managed honeybee colonies worldwide, the latest reported devastating large-scale die-offs among managed honeybee colonies are only happening in the United States. Now, why would these large-scale bee die-offs only happen in the United States? Most of large-scale commercial beekeeping in the United States is related to pollination services for agriculture. In addition to common mites and pesticides that weaken managed bee colonies worldwide, there's one key difference between the US and the rest of the world. It is how the bees are used for pollination services. Let's take a look. The United States, particularly California, is the world's top almond exporter. It produces around 80% of the world's almonds, and it exports them to India, China, European Union, and the rest of the world. And pollination by honeybees accounts for about 90% of U.S. almond harvest. On average, U.S. almond growers run two honeybee colonies per acre, and with over 1 million acres of U.S. farmland dedicated to almonds, over 2 million bee colonies are rented annually to pollinate almond crop. And that is around 90% of the entire United States managed bee colonies. 90%. This is how the bees are transported on trucks to California almond growers. Typically, each truck transports hundreds of bee colonies for days with little ventilation or water. Such transportation heavily stresses the bees, increases their pesticide exposure, and spreads parasites and pathogens across multiple colonies and locations. There's no other country in the world that constantly transports honeybees on such industrial scale. And that's why honeybees in the United States have to cope with extra stresses that do not exist in any other country. Large-scale almond farms require thousands of beehives during a short almond bloom period. They don't rent beehives directly from beekeepers. They employ bee brokers as intermediaries between farmers and beekeepers. This industrial-scale bee rental system seems very efficient, but appearances can be deceiving. As a business model, it's really penny-wise and dollar-stupid, and it's killing off the bees on a large scale. What if, instead of short-term rentals through bee brokers, the large almond growers and other large farmers kept most of their beehives by themselves in mostly stationary beehives? In the end, they would save both dollars and the honeybees Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.